Welcome. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. And, and this, this is Statesman Stonders. Hello, and welcome to this week's Desmond Saunders. We're in a wooden car park. It's not a park up. It's a spot the uh, forestry charges three pound a day from uh, one minute after midnight to one minute before midnight. So I suppose if you moved during that two minutes, sounds like something we used to play in the Air Force with the minute before and minute after midnight as your time because the Queen couldn't count those. <laughs> Anyway, here we are. What gets me about paying for it isn't the paying. It's the 40p charge for using the app that you have to use to pay. I, I think I'd much rather they hid it uh, than played that game. But that's the game they're playing. Anyway, we're here. We're hoping to meet with Dave and Sue this afternoon. They've been in contact and say they're coming up. So, yep, that should be good. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the birds, but there's lots of bird life about. The sun is shining, it's quite warm, and uh, Lindsay has gone for a walk, and I'm hoping that Lindsay will be catching the uh, waterfalls and the footpath. And then perhaps we'll all go up later. It depends, there's an awful lot of people about, and uh, I'm struggling a little. Okay, I'll give you a look round in a little while. Before we show you the area, of course, this was the weekend of the big... In fact, it wasn't even big, was it? It was huge. The absolutely huge Northern Lights, which were seen way in the south. The coronal mass, mass ejection responsible for them was uh, the largest ever and the KP index nearly reached nine. The HF amateur bands were dead in the water. Hopefully they'll be restored by the time you see this. <laughs> However, it was a beautiful sight and this is what Lindsay took raw from her camera. No editing, apart from dissolves and no enhancements at all. You've seen many already, but these are the original. out of time but Dave and Sue and David and Lindsay these are the couple that we've come down to visit while they're on holiday in Scotland and of course I've moved on now and I'm showing you the falls the falls of entry from the air by drone
Hello and welcome to the walk to Inchcree Falls. It is Saturday the 11th of May and we arrived last night in darkness, obviously. Well, semi-darkness. It doesn't get that dark in Scotland at this time of year. Um, managed to get the most phenomenal sightings of the aurora, even in the semi-dark. I'm sure David will put up pictures. Sorry, the wind's picking up. I wasn't expecting that. Um, there's bluebells everywhere. I don't know if you'll see them. Unless I turn that down. Now can you see them? So, David decided to stay indoors last night. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Um, stay indoors last night and I came out the first time and it was too light, couldn't see anything. Came out the second time without a torch and fell flat on my face. I'm fine, the camera's fine. I've probably just got bruises. Well, they haven't turned up yet, but they will. And then brought my phone out to use as a torch and also to take pictures with. Again, because I remembered what the lady from Rose Hearty told me about my phone and my camera, I managed to get some pictures. Um, eventually I used, I cheated, I used the torch light as a source for the camera and then managed to get a couple of pictures but I didn't realise that when I fell over I had a piece of grass on the lens when I saw the picture I panicked because I thought I'd cracked the lens when I fell over look at them that is just beautiful it's just blue everywhere but I'll pull you back out again um, it was just a piece of grass thankfully so I didn't take as many pictures with the camera as I should have done but apparently it was everywhere and hang on I, take, I need to take pictures of this ay, 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 it's not going to like it because it's too bright so like everybody else today I put up my pictures from last night or I put them up last night I can't remember um, and there was pictures from a fair few places that are not used to seeing the lights I've lost count how many times I've seen them but it doesn't matter because every time I see them they take my breath away no matter how long they go on for how short I'm just grateful to see them. But seeing what we saw last night, I wonder what Norway got yesterday. It would have been phenomenal. It said the KP index was 8.33, and I believe the highest it can go up to, or the highest recorded, is 9. So, sorry I'm being careful, I've got a pair of uh, baggy trousers on and I really don't want to fall over again once this weekend's more than enough. We did wonder last night when we came here why the car park was empty, we now know it's a peeing car park. It, it says, you know. So, we'll see. We came down here because hopefully this afternoon we're meeting up with Dave and Sue 
from MB Nature Trails and Flory Camper Van because they're booked into Bunry for tonight. I believe I don't know how old they're staying now. They were good enough to come and see us when we were at Southport. So we said let us know how close you are to us and if we can we'll come and see you. So here we are. And the weather is just glorious. How's that for a view? The scenery when we were coming down the roads yesterday was stunning because the sun was setting and the hills were all golden and red but I couldn't take pictures because obviously we're moving and that would have been blurry and the couple of times I wanted David to stop there wasn't places for us to stop safely so we didn't but this is me on my way up to see what the falls are like I heard them last night when I was outside taking pictures and just watching the aurora It's just lovely to be out and about and let's see what we can do. see that or should I just push it down a little bit get that just to see a blue it was a couple of years ago I went searching everywhere for bluebells last May when we met up with Husky and Wolf Dog and Cindy and Sargic it was um, wild garlic this time it seems to be bluebells. So. Is that the right place for you? So I'll put you down a bit. Sorry, a lot of fiddling going on. But I did put my jacket on and begin to think that was a mistake. But I need somewhere to put my stuff. I need pockets and I'm going to pockets on my trousers. Oh, someone's coming. I was just spoke to a lovely couple who've got the camper parked in Bunnery and who missed the lights last night because they were looking north and the lights were actually south and they never thought to turn round. So. See, you can just see the falls now. We should be full because of the amount of water we've had. The rain. Although, to be honest, the ground's bone dry. That's just a little part of it. Just a glorious, beautiful day. We've seen heaps of great white butterflies. 
cabbage whites as I knew them. But, uh, This is just a walk up the hill. I may come back this afternoon later on if Dave and Sue want to come up and see it. It's up to them. I don't know how tired they are. As I know they're travelling from Ardenoughton, I think, today to Bunbury. They have everything organised for the holiday. I know they've had a couple of wet days but you can't fault this weather. Not today. Look, here we go. I'm not going to go any higher up. I really can't be bothered. And that is the best view of the waterfall oh, that you're likely to get. Double waterfall because there's two. Welcome to Inch Three Falls. Obviously, my memory's playing tricks on me because I didn't think you could see it this well. It's been a while since we've been here. The last time we came here was to meet Mark and Coral. And Colin came and spent the weekend with us as well. So I'm not going any further up. I'm just going to head back down to the van. Um, thanks for coming with me. And I'll possibly put you back on later if I decide to go for another walk for the minute. I just want to get back to the van because I think we need to get ready if Dave and Sue are coming and I think I need another cup of tea. So thanks again for coming with and we'll catch you the next time. Take care guys. And we have visitors. <laughs> You're welcome. I told you it was worth it. You see where... Oh no, it's... And considering how much rain we've actually had, the ground is incredibly dry. Yeah, well, I saw you, Claire, and I, I did. I did worry about you both. Yeah. All too soon, Dave and Sue headed back to their motorhome. They were stopping at Bonry and continuing on with the holiday, but I think they'd changed some plans because of the wet weather that they'd had for two days on a, on a holiday in Scotland. The, uh, the decision was made by Lindsay and I to move closer to home the next day, for me basically, and we headed off for a place that we thought We'd have a nice evening, a relaxed morning, and uh, then be able to drive home. We kind of got that wrong. But you'll have to wait to see that until the next video. Bye for now. But before you go, just enjoy these last few photos.
Thank you for watching Desmond's Donders. And whatever you're doing in the countryside, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our future videos.